Hi friends, I'm Stephanie. I'm an illustrator here in Orlando, Florida, and I love to draw things and upload my drawing process videos to YouTube. If you haven't seen my face, this is kind of it. And I'm here today because I've been beckoned by my lovely husband who has a, an amazing drawing challenge for me. Hey, Johnny. All right, let's get in here. Hi, I am Stephanie's husband, and I'm also the host of the Retro Dustbin podcast. So my <laughs> challenge today, uh, to have you try to guess what a video game box art is. So I'm going to pick a game from my collection, and I'm going to show you the box art, and, uh, well, I'm not going to show you the box art, actually. But you're going to show them. I'm going to show you <laughs> the box art, and I'm going to have you just... Think about what you think this box art can be. So it's not a draw from memory challenge. It's not a reimagining. It's just a complete guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, but you're going to have to like give me something so I know what I'm going to draw or what things I have to draw. Like I can't just, you know, make it up. I can read you the title of the game. Okay. And I can read the box art description. Okay. <laughs> And go from there. I'm not going to leave you blind. I'm not going to just gonna say, draw a box art and see how close you get. But a description like, won't even like... A description is going to do a lot. <laughs> all right, all right. A okay. description... Okay. <laughs> what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the game. Okay. I'm going to read the title. I'm going to read the box art description. And then how about you tell me if that's enough to go off of? Okay. That sounds... I think that sounds fair. Okay. I'm going to need you to <laughs> take this off. Please don't ruin... <laughs> I just need you <laughs> to blindfold yourself because okay, you can't see. You. While she does that, I'm gonna go get the game. <laughs> I don't like this. So the title of the game is one of my favorite video games growing up, Shinobi 3 on Sega Genesis. So there's a box art there. We'll give you a... Uh, Better look at it later. This is a kind of a lengthy description. Are you ready? So, oh. <laughs> Shinobi 3, Return of the Ninja Master. Okay, so on one ninja. One, one ninja. The Shinobi Master of Stealth and the Lethal Ninja Arts is back, bigger and deadlier than ever. Joe Musashi's sworn enemy, the Neo Zed, grips the city in a vicious crime ring. Shadow Master. A super ninja cloned from Joe's own bloodline controls the Zed's savage army of bio ninjas. Musashi has no choice but to annihilate them all. I don't like this. <laughs> that was um, a whirlwind. Yeah? I would say. So what jumps out at you right away? Um, bio people? <laughs> <laughs> bio ninjas. Bio ninjas. Okay. Um... Do, you, do you have any idea what that might mean? Superhuman ninjas? Super cloaked with their super um, ninja stars? Their kunai knives? I'm gonna go with that. What else? A city? I was just kind of expecting a forest, so maybe not do a city, and I'll probably just do a forest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just the one ninja. Just the one. The ninja master. Yeah. The he does have enemies, though. Mr. Shinobi? I think Mr. Shinobi's his father. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, Mus um, Musashi? Is that the enemy? Joe, Mus Joe Musashi is the ninja master. The ninja master. That's the enemy? I, no. Oh. Neo Zed is his sworn enemy. Joe Musashi is the hero. And oh. Yeah. I wasn't listening to that right. Okay, that's fine. I, I kind of messed it up, I'm it was sure. A, it was a whirlwind of just information. Yeah. It was just... Um, it's a really deep story. Yeah? Yeah. I bet it is. It's kind of like The Matrix. You have to watch it a few times. I bet it's kind of like times. Yakuza, like that game where it's just... Nothing like Yakuza. <laughs> <laughs> so anything else stands out at you? Anything? Any ideas cooking right away? I'm just going to do a ninja in a forest. A ninja in a forest. Yes. Okay. Uh, do you think maybe seeing some gameplay would help you? Yeah, probably. All right. Probably not, but it doesn't hurt. <laughs> Are you confident? No. 
<laughs> yes, I am confident that I will be drawing a ninja in a forest. Okay, S scale of one to ten, how ten being the highest, how close do you think you're going to be to the actual box art? Number two. Well, let's see some gameplay. So we're in a new room, our living room. It's a little bit bigger, a little less cramped. We could hook up the Genesis Mini and get some nicer graphics recorded. Yeah, for sure. So I'm going to show you a little gameplay. I may be a little rusty. It's been a few years. I hope oh, you don't yep. mind. I'm going to write a couple of notes. That's a good idea. Take some notes. Uh, you see what I just did there? I did uh, my did special. Mm -hmm. All right, that's good. I didn't do anything then. First thing I see... Um, the Master Shinobi is in white with a red bandana and knee pads. Yes, those are his ninja knee pads for when he has to slide. I always thought his outfit was pretty cool. Yeah. So you have kunai. All right. So this is like when you get to the city. Okay. And now it's like, you see how it's like futuristic and there are guys with guns now and stuff. So, so this is probably a good stopping point. You've seen a little bit of the gameplay. Uh, are you feeling a little more confident? You were at a two before. Where are you now? About a one. I okay. Think. Just a, <laughs> so, a cool so we went down. One. We went down. Yeah, just a little bit. All right. Just well, how it. confident are you normally going into any drawing? So I'm going to go ahead and um, start with what notes that I have, plus anything that Johnny's given me already. I noticed that um, the main character, while Johnny was doing his playthrough, the Master Shinobi was wearing a white gi with a red headband, red knee pads, and a red belt. So that, to me, I feel like that's going to give a lot of contrast to the cover, and I feel like I'm going to need to offset that with something in the background. I'm still tied to the idea of him being in a forest, but maybe it should be in a city. Maybe with, like... Ugh, I don't know, light up windows or something. I'll figure it out. Maybe it could just be black landscape um, with some light up windows and the Master Shinobi and his white gi. That'll be a pop of color. And I feel like there's got to be red in the background somehow to tie it in, but um, we'll figure it out. And then I noticed there was shuriken being thrown by enemies, but honestly, I think I'm just going to focus on the Master Shinobi in the city with some clouds, probably. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm gonna start off with, on a new layer and I'm gonna sketch out my idea first. I hate it already. It's a torso. <laughs> okay, um, I said defensive pose, but <laughs> I don't really want to. <laughs> Maybe a city looming over him. Maybe he should not be that high up. Maybe he should be smaller. Well, in the video game, I think the windows were horizontal. That kind of looks weird, but maybe cyberpunky enough. I think I'm gonna make him bigger and just probably just torso. Because he's the main character. But the knee pads. Do you need the knee pads? I don't think so. They were in your notes. Yeah, but it was only really characteristic of his costume. That doesn't need to be in there. Okay, fine. <laughs> knee pads. So, then he needs to be smaller. No. You don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> you do have to leave room for the title. Huh? That's enough. Let's try this again. In Procreate, there's this really neat thing that you can do is if you draw a line and you just hold it for a couple of seconds, a straight edge will be um, made or even a curve. Um, sometimes it's helpful. Other times it's just I'll hold my pencil to the iPad and I'm thinking about where my next move will be and then it ruins my stroke. Um, but that's on me, really. All right. So, let's just pretend that I know what a ninja looks like. Oh no. I don't like how this is coming out. And, um... This is it for the Shinobi 3 cover art. And let's not have Johnny pick out the game next. Let's, let's do that. 
Maybe he can draw something. Does he look ninja <laughs> enough? Can I put him behind a building? <laughs> Just him right here. The clouds! <laughs> um, probably because I don't know what a ninja looks like. I'm like dying a little bit. Okay, let's just let's just accept it and then let's move. Right now, I'm just gonna do a, a light gray so I can still see. I'm probably just gonna do a bunch of clipping masks to make it a little bit easier on me. Does he have white gloves? I don't know. But in my drawing, he does. <laughs> it looks so good. It doesn't look like a child drawing at all. So remember when I said it was gonna look cute? It's not. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just for fun, let's do some dramatic lighting. It's cyberpunk, right? So we gotta do some blue lighting. Oh, you can't see that. Yeah. It's gonna be more like a concept sketch instead of drawing. Cause that's cyberpunk, baby. I nailed it. And I guess Shinobi's in gold. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. I feel pretty good about that one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, are you ready to uh, get graded? Um... No. Okay, we're gonna do it anyway. <laughs> so we're back on the couch, and Johnny's gonna reveal the Shinobi 3 cover art for me. But before we do that, uh, let's remind the people what you came up with. All right. Let me just uh, pull it up on my handy dandy little iPad. Okay, all right. So yeah. what, are the, what are the big elements you hit here? Um, so I got the Master Shinobi, in his white robe with the red headband and the red belt, no red knee pads. Um, I got the, the logo right here in gold, and the backdrop is a city. So I think it came out great, um, but let's see how close it is to the original. All right. Are you ready? Yes. Boom. Here we go. Shinobi 3, Return of the Ninja Master. All right. So I was kind of close. <laughs> A little close. Let's do a side by side. So what's funny to me is, well, first of all, how do you, how do you think you did? You know what? I think my, my initial idea of having him in a defensive pose in a forest was way closer than what I actually drew. Yeah, you did have the pose. like the. Yeah, except it was with kunai and not a sword, which I didn't know there was a sword. There are... There are a couple of things, because I'm not actually quite sure if he's using a sword in the game yeah. or if he's just slashing with the kunai, um, but his his uh, ninja outfit here is black. It's so much different gray. than the gameplay that I saw, um, which is whatever, fine. He still has an e-pads, though. He does have red stuff, accents. I don't have them in here, but it's fine. You don't need them. You're well, okay. I think that you're... Box art is one that anyone would be lucky to play. Oh, thank you. You're <laughs> so kind. So coming into this, uh, you said that you were feeling about a two for confidence, and then... No, I think you, it was a one. Uh, it was two first, and then yeah, after yeah. some gameplay, you dropped down to a one. Yeah, yeah. Scale of one to ten, what would you give yourself? So I think my scale is all wrong. I should have came in at like a, a nice eight, because I definitely did have a basic concept that was used, but um, right about now, it's I guess dropped down to a to a three. <laughs> In terms of I guess accuracy. Yeah, if I wanted to do the rescaling, yeah. That's fair. Your Which first one was pretty high, but in terms of how much I like it, I'll give it a ten. Thank you. He's supposed to like it. I love it. 
<laughs> well, um, thank you friends for watching and for drawing with me. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, um, click the bell to get notified for any videos that I upload, and until next time, bye!